My name is Jennifer Gallagher. I've been a nurse here on OB for 26 years and I am a lactation consultant, which I've been doing here for 22 years. Today we're going to address some frequently asked questions from breastfeeding mothers. Breastfeeding should not be painful. Breastfeeding may cause some tenderness in the mom the first few days after delivery, but that should subside quickly. If a mother is experiencing pain, it's typically from improper latch or position, and we encourage moms to call the lactation consultant for an evaluation of a feeding so they can determine where the pain's coming from. We measure baby's diapers and weight to make sure they're getting enough milk. Baby should have about one to two wet and bowel movements a day the first few days after delivery. And those diapers increase to about six wet and three diapers a day after that. Babies also lose weight, that's normal. Seven to 10% is something typical we may see before discharge. We hope the baby's back to birth weight by two weeks, gaining about four to seven ounces a week after that. And those are the ways we determine the baby's getting enough to eat. You can absolutely still breastfeed if you're a working mother. Many mothers are able to pump at work every two to three hours, and that's ideal. For some mothers, they may be only able to pump once or twice when they're away from the baby. That's better than not being able to pump at all. For some mothers, they feel that pumping at work is stressful, so they decide to supplement during the day while they're at work and breastfeed when they get home, and that's very possible. You can train your breast to produce milk when you're at home with the baby and not to produce milk when you're at work during your working hours. So we encourage moms to talk to a lactation nurse before they get back to work so that they can work on that schedule. Breast milk is typically stored in bags that are made specifically for breast milk storage. Moms can also store in bottles that are plastic or glass. One important thing about breast milk storage is to make sure that you're not keeping it at room temperature more than eight hours when you freshly pump milk. If it's over eight hours, you need to refrigerate or freeze that milk. Milk can stay in the refrigerator for about a week and can stay in the freezer for six months. If you have access to a deep freezer, the milk can stay in there for 12 months. When you're heating your milk for a feeding, you should never microwave that milk. That will destroy some of the very important properties of the breast milk for the baby. So make sure when you're warming your milk for a feeding that you put it in a cup of warm water or a bottle warmer so that it can be heated for the baby's feeding. There are no foods to avoid while breastfeeding. We encourage moms to eat whatever that they would like. If you begin to notice that the baby's experiencing some fussiness, are spitting and you feel like it's related to your diet, we would be glad to review your, a diet history with you to see if we can determine the cause of the baby's fussiness. For a new mom to be successful at breastfeeding, it's very important that she prepare herself ahead of time before delivery. The more education that you get, the better off you are after delivery. So that you can help your family know how to support you the most. The most common reason that moms stop breastfeeding early is because of the lack of support from family or friends. So educate yourself and also educate your family on the importance of breastfeeding to you. It's also important not to give rubber nipples the first few weeks after delivery. Babies need to establish good breastfeeding before they're introduced to pasties and bottles. So avoid using pacifiers and bottles until breastfeeding is well established, which is about three weeks. Can a mom resume breastfeeding after she's already weaned? That is called relactation. It's possible. Um, it does take some work on behalf of the mom to do some extra feeding, extra skin-to-skin -skin care with the baby, extra pumping. She may have to take breastfeeding supp supplements to get her supply where it needs to be, but it is possible to relactate. It is possible to begin breastfeeding a few days after delivery. We may have a mom that would like to breastfeed when she gets home but doesn't want to breastfeed in the hospital. The sooner you begin breastfeeding, the better those hormones are stimulated for a sufficient breast milk supply. The issue you run into is if a baby's been bottle feeding for several days and the mom wants to attempt breastfeeding, it may be difficult for the baby to latch. But if she were to pump, she would be able to, to stimulate a milk supply that way, but it is possible. So RMC is a milk depot for the Mother's Milk Bank of Alabama. If a mom has excess breast milk that she would like to donate for other moms to use while their baby's hospitalized, she can become a milk donor and she should access the Mother's Milk Bank of Alabama website to learn how to become a donor. Once you are assigned a donor number and have been approved as a donor, you may drop your milk off here at RMC and we transport it to Birmingham for pasteurization. 
The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that babies breastfeed at least two years exclusively for six months, meaning the baby needs nothing but breast milk the first six months of life and continue with breastfeeding with supplemental foods after six months. If a mom has questions about medication and breastfeeding, because some moms are told to stop breastfeeding when they're given certain medications and the medication may be perfectly safe, I encourage moms to call the Infant Risk Center. The Infant Risk Center is in Texas and Dr. Hale is the pharmacist that does the research on breastfeeding medications and he publishes a book every couple of years and he will have the latest research on the medications that you need. RMC has the RMC Lactation Center that's open seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You are welcome to call and leave a voicemail so that the lactation nurse can return your call when they're back in the office and we'll be glad to talk through things with you. Also follow up with moms after discharge every few weeks until the baby has weaned. We're also available for your phone calls as well. The community also has options for breastfeeding support. We have physicians offices that hire lactation consultants to help moms in the office. There's a group that does home visits with lactation consultants. And we also have an RMC breastfeeding support group that meets when visitation restrictions allow.